Special shout out to our viewers in South London, Puebla, Mexico, and as always, Albuquerque. We're gonna try to get in here to the James Cohen Gallery and see. By the way, I just watched the uh, gallerist wipe down the door here. Hello, an exhibition. Okay. We're going to look at an exhibition titled Steps by Grace Weaver. And the Walker Street Gallery's open too? Okay, so we're going to try to make this a two-part episode. And we're going to start out with some drawings. We've got, uh, looks like charcoal on paper. This is very facile and prolific. Well, the press release is online and I would have to be diddling with my phone for the next two hours to get it. So I'm just gonna walk through here and look at these. Uh, as I said, Grace is a very facile draftsperson. And, uh, okay, we're a little subject matter. It looks like uh, contemporary women have someone doing, is that the downward dog? Uh, it's a lot of what I would consider classic references here. And uh, one of the people that I would say I'm getting a, an, an echo from, a little flavor from, is uh, Matisse. I also enjoy Grace's erasure. the way that that kind of breaks up the strict black and white that you would have. It was just a straight unsmudged line. So we've got uh, a ballerina on the stairs. <laughs> this makes me think of an old uh, Al Cap character, Joe Bafutzba, who always had a, had a rain cloud sort of floating over his head. Uh, yeah, some of these, the smudging and the, uh, the erasure, it gets to the point where it starts to uh, obscure the, the image, which I like. Okay, so I've got the... Uh, Young lady at the bar. Shoppers. Okay. 
Okay, so this is nice. We've got basically just the black lines and then the only smudgy part is the uh, face. That's kind of nice because we're uh, kind of getting abstract with the uh, ovals. Well, uh, this is probably about the first uh, two or three weeks that. Uh, Galleries have been open other than by appointment only, which basically was uh, you had to call ahead. So, uh, okay, I like the difference in the scale and the erasure, which meant that the gallery's doors were actually locked and uh, you'd have to make an appointment, which it's not really my style. I'm just kind of uh, peddling my bike around the neighborhood. Oh, I kind of like this one. It's got dark. This little yeah, the scallop bubble thing makes me think of uh, Elizabeth Murray a little bit. See, Grace is very good about uh, taking a particular theme, in this case, kind of the uh, weeping woman, and uh, extrapolating it out in various compositional forms. And again, so uh, yeah, there is a coffee cup, which is also almost a uh, signature image of Elizabeth Murray. Shopper and jogger. We got a guy that's carrying the shopping bags. I would say these are all probably something like 28 by 17 inches. like a uh, Reeves 180 paper. That was a look at Grace Weaver steps. An exhibition of drawings. Here at James Cohen, we're gonna run down to Trebekka. make a brief editorial comment uh, as the uh, COVID pandemic uh, continues to evolve here in New York. Uh, I guess it's been about five and a half months that uh, a lot of the businesses and uh, institutions have been closed down to the public. There's also been a series of protests and uh, well the result of that has been a lot of the a lot of the venues at least the 
the physical spaces, the galleries that I've visited for years have been closed down. Many of them have had uh, plywood nailed over their windows for months. And um, as things are starting to open up, I'm discovering that a lot of these spaces have actually closed permanently. The, the dealers, I believe, are trying to keep doing some business, but mostly it's around the kitchen table at their apartments. So, someone was talking about 50% uh, of the restaurants in Manhattan will never come back, and I have a feeling, a creeping feeling, that uh, it's going to be a similar, similar situation with the galleries. Alright, you ready? Yeah, 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 yeah. Street in the hot new gallery area of Tribeca, which was a hot new gallery area about 30 years ago in the bottom of Soho. And we're gonna try to run in here and get part two of Grace Weaver's steps. These are the paintings. Stay tuned. I like the way you work it, no diggity. I like the way you work it, no diggity. Come and take a look at the paintings. I like the way you work it, no Maybe we should have started here and uh, made the drawings part two. This is titled Californication 2020 Oil on Canvas, 71 by 69 inches. Well, we were uh, we were looking at some of Grace's drawings, and I was saying that she has a very facile hand. And, uh, well, these uh, curves, very sensual. Uh, okay, it says these are oil on canvas.
and she's uh, going for a very immaculate flat surface. It's titled Crying Too. Oil on canvas 41 by 41 inches. Um, one of the nice things about the paintings that you don't really get a chance to see this is crying one is that uh, well, Grace has got a pretty nice color sense and she's really uh, thinning down these oils so they are very dry. Limbo 2020 oil and canvas, 71 by 69. Okay, the, uh, the magenta against that uh, dirty yellow is nice. And again, I just think uh, from the abstract point of view, these are very nicely designed. A front, 2020. In a front, a solitary female character is exposed to approaching elements as she walks outdoors against a dense salmon-hued sky. Her eyes lock into a pair of bulbous clouds. Lock onto, okay. This is choker one, 23 by 25 inches. And uh, yeah, I think there are elements of Grace's painting that makes me think of the uh, Chicago school, some of the Harry Who painters maybe. This is Choker 2. And, uh, well, I like this little kind of an indentation in the flesh. It's a little pain, a little constriction that's uh, associated with the fashion statement. This is a big painting. This is intersection. Oil on canvas, 95 by 89 inches, 2020. Intersection belongs to Weaver's new body of street scenes in which she casts characters into public space to explore the contradictions embedded within a specific social fabric. Blah, 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 okay. Well, there are uh, 
elements that make me think of another wonderful painter. I think he probably passed away about 10 years ago, Lester Johnson, who did uh, a lot of paintings of women, teenagers, running around the streets with uh, pattern fabrics and the clothes, things like that. Uh, okay, so it looks like we got somebody threw down a cigar. We got the Elizabeth Murray smoke thing popping up there. Someone else is smoking. Okay, we got a like a hot dog-like car that's got smoke coming out of the pipes. Yeah, some of this looks like grease might be um, sanding down part of her surface to keep it especially flat. I think we'll look at this set of paintings. Misstep, 2020, oil on canvas, 69 by 71. Okay, they've got a whole little paragraph to uh, describe many of these. And again, so we've got this uh, burst of striped pleats in the skirt. It's nice. That's kind of echoed against these radiating spiral staircase steps. I got kind of an interesting Calling a slapstick narrative. This is Stunt, seventy one by sixty five. Again, we've got a nice uh, kind of reduced palette. Yeah, so that's interesting. We've got a lot of these areas that are basically masked out in monochrome. And then for some reason, the eyes have got all of these little gobs of texture and uh, pedimenti. It's also it's interesting the way that uh, she's drawn her figure so that it's almost uh, pressing up against the edges of the canvas. Well, I was talking about Grace's color sense and uh, I'm thinking a lot of these are probably almost palettes that are pulled out of fashion ads or maybe the <laughs> most popular colors from Vogue. Shame, 2020. 
oil on canvas. Okay. Well, again, we've got our kind of burst of the striped pleats in the white dress. And uh, gosh, we've got uh, magenta panties. You can sort of see the little buttocks there under the dress. That these you know, these kind of inflated forms are very sensual. Uh, Grace is really um, concentrating on the the uh, the feeling of like a one-shot stroke. Although these are very planned out and uh, graphic graphically designed, uh, like when you see these two strokes that uh, define the breasts. That was a one-shot deal. You couldn't couldn't overwork those and get them to work the same way. So there's some very nice uh, tonal shifts in the color. Step. Oil on canvas, 29 by 27 inches. Okay, this is also creates kind of an interesting narrative of some kind. In step, a black high-heeled shoe presses into the toes of a tan loafer within a spare isolated frame. Drawing references to the erotic airbrush art of Pater Sado, Weaver removes the subject matter from narrative context that would otherwise clarify the incidents as either an intentional attack or an accident. While Weaver's paintings often explore mundane mishaps or the everyday violence we find within plausibly banal, banal situations, according to the critic Elena Cohen, for all her subject's clumsiness, Weaver's hands is assured. Her lines are controlled and precise, with little evidence of spontaneity or chance. Wow. Maybe that's it. Maybe they're almost like they are rehearsed. And uh, after she gets the, the performance down, she carries out the uh, execution like a performance. Well, I was talking about the fact that some of this makes me think of uh, some of the Chicago painters. I think Christina Romberger was the lady I was thinking that this kind of relates to. Maybe Ed Pachka. Okay, we're gonna end up Looking at this major piece. This is Transfer 2020 Oil on Canvas, 95 by 89 inches. So that's what I was talking about when I said some of this looks like it might be sanded. It 
looking toward influences that range from the torque perspectives of American regionalism to the gravity of Piero della Francesca's paintings and the monumental figuration of Jose Orozco's mural, Weaver's paintings are an exploration of what she terms a theater of public life. In transfer, as with her other street scenes, mundane settings like a sidewalk or a flight, flight of stairs act as a stage upon which interpersonal dynamics and power struggles are played out. Okay. Again, I like the uh, kind of the repeating patterns of the the pleading, the kind of bursting pleading, the pleading in the blouses, the patterns in the shirts and the steps. Uh, yes, we saw some drawings of this form. As the female protagonist topples forward onto the picture plane, yeah, the sharp pleats of her stylized skirt fan outwards, recalling the teeth of a, saw to, of a saw blade and conveying a sense of implicit violence as she is accidentally exposed. Okay, so I like the way this sneakered foot is kind of overlaid the pleats of her dress. And uh, yeah, some of these limbs look like they're inflated, and blown up almost like a balloon. Kind of pumped up until they fill the space. James Calm reporting on Grace Weaver steps here at the James Cohen Gallery, and we've got a picture, or a view of the drawings as well. You can like this, share, subscribe, recommend it to your friends, post it to all your social media sites, and you can leave your thoughts, ideas, comments, criticisms, and reviews below. And we are still dealing with coming back from COVID. And that's why you should be especially thankful to Kate.